In the last episode, we spent some time exploring the Seneca Rocks area. We did the Seneca Rocks Trail up to the famous Overlook, and we checked out the platform, but then we really wanted to climb all the way up onto the rocks, and it was definitely worth the full 360 degree view of the West Virginia mountains and the valley. But this was also when we figured out that Patrick is not very comfortable with heights and he wanted to climb down as quickly as possible. But then we went across the street and got a nice meal to recoup our calories from the trip and then we drove up to the Dolly Sods area. But our plans for the next day in West Virginia was to go to the Spruce Knob Recreational Area. I woke up early the next morning and ran up to Sunrise Point at our campground. My idea was to try to get a really good sunrise shot right over the Seneca Rocks, but the clouds had a different idea. When we were hiking yesterday, we heard some people talking about a swimming hole right down underneath the Seneca Rocks. So we went to try to find that. And we figured out that the very last parking area at the visitor center, it's kind of toward the back, you have to drive all the way through. There's a trail that goes right out from that parking lot and leads you to this beautiful little swimming hole and when we got there it was just us and two other locals. As much as Patrick does not like heights, he absolutely loves swimming. So anytime that we can find somewhere to go swimming when we're on a trip like this, we always try to fit it in because it's really one of his favorite things. Now, Patrick was able to go in and swim and so were the other locals, but it was just a little bit cold for me. I really need the water to be pretty warm to get in. So I just sat on the side and enjoyed watching these spiders run around on the rocks and the sound of the water filtering through the rocks. It was just such a peaceful, quiet area to sit and enjoy the morning. Oh, really? Yeah. Jeez. That's one thing I'll get into. Climbing? Mm. Yeah, me either. Pretty cool swimming hole. Yeah. Little fishies. Little fishies everywhere. Oh really? <laughs> we headed back toward the car and got ready for the next part of our day, which was heading a little bit south of Seneca Rocks to the Spruce Knob 
recreation area. Now, Spruce Knob is the highest point in West Virginia, so this was definitely something that we wanted to check out. At this point, we were getting pretty skilled with using a map since our phones did not like the mountains of West Virginia. But this drive to Spruce Knob was much easier than our drive to Dolly Sods. You can drive most of the way up to the top of the mountain. There's a parking area at the top, and then it's about a 900 foot walk to the observation tower at the top. And then around the observation tower, you have the Whispering Spruce Trail, which is a very flat, wide gravel trail, very easy to walk around. And you get these great views of the valley all around you. As we were coming down from Spruce Knob, we saw some signs for the Spruce Knob Lake. So we decided to drive down this other road that headed toward the lake just to check out the area and see what was going on there. And I'm really glad that we did because there is a nice walking trail that goes around the lake and it was just so pretty. After walking around the lake, we headed back toward the campground, but we stopped on the way at this local diner and we got these mac and cheese bites and then we had to try two different kinds of pie because we were in West Virginia. When we got back to the campground, we enjoyed this nice sunset from the same place that I checked out the sunrise that morning. It's called Sunrise Point. But then we headed back to the campsite and Patrick decided that he wanted to cook some hot dogs on the grill. And while he was cooking, I got a little bit more work done. I was prepping my coursework because as soon as we got back to civilization, I had to start teaching my anatomy for yoga teachers series. The next morning, we packed up the scamp and got ready for our longest driving day of the whole trip. We were heading from West Virginia up to Lancaster County in Pennsylvania. And this was a stop that we chose to do because it's not that far away from where we live and we both really like Lancaster, but it also helped us to swing up north more so that we avoided the traffic around Washington, D.C., which can be pretty bad most of the time. On the way up to Pennsylvania, we finally got to stop at a Cracker Barrel. And we've wanted to do this for the whole trip because we really appreciate the fact that they have RV parking and they are very friendly and accommodating to RVs. So we like to show our support for businesses that appreciate travelers. We're not neighbors. Can't be any worse than the neighbors we had in the last two nights. Is that a horse? I think that is a horse. Yeah, a horse. 
very carefully. <laughs> Backing that in. Yeah. You have Good to come lord. In. You have to come this way. Maybe they do. Maybe like full timers. pretty excited about our last night of camping on this trip mostly because we had heard great things about Starlight Campground it has a great view and this was our first time camping with full hookups <laughs> 